Hey everyone, my name is Lisa. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. And if you are an old subby, welcome back. Today you guys are here for my July favorites and a mini haul that I have. So without any more talking, girl, let's get right into it. First, I'd like to share with you guys a song that I have been in love with. Here you go. Okay, next with skincare, I bought this a week ago maybe and honestly it is really good. I can see my blemishes going away. It's really cheap. It was only, I think, under five dollars or something like that. I bought it at my local Walgreens. So I'm pretty sure you guys can find it too. And if you guys use it, tell me what you think about it because I've only been using it for about a week so I can't really like say if it's good or bad but I really like it so far. Next, I'd like to share with you guys this awesome ass thing that I bought. If you watched my recent video that I just uploaded on Facebook of me doing my sister Beanie's makeup, I used this palette here is a concealer palette and it has different shades. And on this side, it has color correctors. It comes with um, a brush, a brush with two ends, but as you can tell, this end fell off. Overall, I think this is pretty good. It's kind of sticky, but if you blend it out really well, it's good. If you guys have seen my videos on Facebook, you guys know that I have been obsessed with baking, cooking, that method. And if you guys don't know what the method is, it's basically where you pack translucent powder around. Right here, and 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 right here, right here. Set your concealer and it gives it an extra set and it highlights as well. Go ahead and go below and I will link you guys to a video where I do it on my sisters. I super love these powders because they're super inexpensive but they get the job done and it doesn't crease at all. Um, this one is in naturally beige and this one is in translucent. This is how it looks like it pops up and there you go, there's the product. Next is a BB cream and personally I don't really like BB creams because it doesn't give me the coverage that I want but I was super surprised with this right here. This is Physician's Formula Super BB Cream in Light Medium. It looks like this. It blends out really nice and evenly. It is BB cream, so it does have SPF 30 in it. The coverage on it is really good. I think it's like a medium coverage, like a light medium, but more towards medium coverage. And for a BB cream, I think that's really good, like the amount of coverage that it gives because usually BB creams are just light coverage and girl, you know. Oh no, I like the extra clean look. It doesn't leave my face feeling cakey or like dead and like unbreathable. These are one of the more expensive drugstore BB creams, but I will give you guys a link to where I bought it from. The next product that I have is a primer. I honestly can compare it to Benefit's Professional Primer because it feels the same and it leaves my face feeling exactly how that primer would feel on my face. This is NYX's Pore Filler. It's pretty small, but I mean, it gets the job done. Uh, it's new, I haven't opened it yet and it, it won't open, <laughs> so I can't. Uh, I just bought it and this is the second one. It's very mattifying on your face and it just fills all your pores, it honestly does. I have it on right now and I've had my makeup on for about three hours now and it hasn't slid at all and nothing, girl, let me tell you. It is just as good as those high-end brands, I swear. You can go out to the store, try it, and if you don't like it, return it and then tell me I'm lying and I will tell you I'm deeply sorry. This is how it looks like and the awesome thing about it is that it is cruelty free so they do not test on animals at all so that's super awesome. Like I said earlier I can compare it to professional by benefit and that primer is super expensive so girl get yourself a dupe right here. Next product is oh, liquid eyeliner. I have loved it forever, forever. I'm gonna create a line first. 
That line right there is super sharp and super clean. It has a very small fine tip and I really like that about it and it's super easy to apply on your face and it is only $2. So I think it gets the job done for very cheap and very good. I wear it every day and it's what I have on right now for my eyeliner and honestly, I feel like you can never go wrong with this eyeliner because it is super black and if you keep on piling it on, girl, it'll become even more black. It's gonna become like the black hole or something. Not really, but you know what I mean. The next product that I have been really loving for a super long time is Fit Me Concealer number 25 and 15. Um, if you guys watch my videos, you guys will see that I have been crazy over these and I use them literally every day. I use it to conceal my circles, blemishes, and for number 15, I use to highlight. And I just really love it because it's super creamy and it's super blendable and you can build it up without it like getting cakey, but if you like go overboard, then it'll be cakey. But besides that, it's super good and I love it a lot. I recommend this to anyone out there who wants an affordable, good concealer. The next product that I have for you guys is from an online-based makeup brand, I think. I think they're only online, but they're located in California and it is ColourPop. The color that I've been loving a lot lately is Mittens. At this angle right here, it shows how it really looks like in person. Um, it's like a purple, dark purple plum color. It's not really swatching on really good. I don't think it's super pigmented, but it's buildable. So if you build it up enough, then you will be able to see its true color. And it's just super good for like the outer third of your eye right here. Like a great crease color. I always love it. I think I always use this with my transition shade in literally every look because I have that on right now. And I just popped on the next product. The next product I think is a dupe of Trick, which should be right here, but it fell out. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize how pigmented it is. But it stays on much, much, much better than Trick. It is right there. It's super shiny and it's super pretty. It's a rose gold. I just bought it yesterday because I've been like crazy looking for a rose gold color. If you don't like silver or if you don't like gold or anything, you feel like it's too much, rose gold is the perfect alternative. $7 might be expensive for drugstore products, but for the amount you get, honestly, you are not wasting your money if you buy this. You will put use to it and this will stick with you for a long, long time. I have been really loving this lip scrub from Lush in the flavor mint julep and it looks like this oh my god it is sugar and oils and some other stuff they are animal cruelty free does that make sense you get what i mean i feel like my lips are more moisturized now and all the dead skin is off completely to keep this from drying and from not working i like to flip it upside down like this or keep it on its side because then all the oils don't just sink to the bottom and they actually go to the top where you're going to be picking out the product and putting it onto your lip i guess if you eat it it's fine because i wouldn't i mean it's all organic things so i mean you're not gonna die if you lick it off you know what i mean so the next thing that I got, I got it for my 16th birthday and if you guys follow me on Instagram, which you should, which my Instagram is at Lisa. I did kind of post a sneak peek of this bag on my Instagram. In my family, our tradition is on your 16th birthday, you get to go out and get a coach bag or two or three or 5,000 if you are under the limit. And my limit was $300, so I was like, hell yes girl! And the logo is in the front right here. So you can hold it like this or else one shoulder. It's not long enough to go over the shoulder because if I was standing up, like it just goes to like my waist. 
so it's kind of awkward. It looks white in here, but it's kind of like off-white, a creamish color. It has a big section right here in the front and in the back, but I kind of don't like how it doesn't have like something to secure it from falling out. It's like this. There is a little pouch right here. And then there are two pockets right here. It's super big. I stuck two packs of noodles in here. I have put my wallet in here, my makeup bag, my selfie stick, clothes. Literally, this is like a mini duffel bag. And I think I will be carrying this for school because... Honestly, last year in my backpack, I had one folder with all my stuff in it and like two or three notebooks. I think I would just be using this. I will have a backpack just in case. But if you guys do want a back to school video or anything like that, you should let me know what you guys want to see. Like if you guys want to see a makeup tutorial for school, like a back to school outfit idea or whatever you want, just let me know. And next is a cute little side bag, but there's a little pocket right here and the opening is pretty big. I went to do makeup for a photo shoot yesterday night and I took this with me and I literally stuck my wallet in here, my two phones, my portable charger, a pen, papers. I'm surprised that I was able to fit it. It looks small but it's actually really big. So that was my other bag. So this is my sweet 16th birthday gift. I don't really thank my family a lot, but if you guys are watching this, thank you guys. The other things that I got from Coach were the leather moisturizer and leather cleaner. I don't know how to clean it, so if you guys know how to clean it, let me know how to clean it. And when I do clean it, I'll probably have like it on Snapchat or something. Alright guys, so that is it for my July favorites in mini haul. But before I go, if you guys follow me on Instagram at Babe Lisa, I post up this picture and I captioned it telling you guys to tell me what you guys want me to say from you guys out of my mouth to this video. <laughs> so let's get on to it. I'm just gonna say sorry in advance if I say your name and your username wrong. Um, I do understand the struggle. But anyways, ongoing. Um, this is from Kanian, I think. Your username is ly.nco. And you said, when did you start using Instagram? Also, OMG, you're so pretty. Thank you. Um, I started using Instagram when I was in sixth grade. All that information and stuff is in my Q&A, so I will link you guys to that. Aquarius.jpg, which is Gabby. Hi, Gabby. She said, you're actually one of my favorite Instagram accounts. You're so gorgeous. I cry a bit sometimes. Oh, you're so nice. Thank you, Gabby. Cynthia Bang said, why are you so pretty, LOL? Girl, I'll tell you what I'm pretty. Because I love this. Thank you. Oh. Bra slip. Fix, fix, fix. LOL, it's Lilia. Hi, Lilia. LOL. She said, I recently started following your account and subscribed to all your social media, including YouTube, LOL. I love how you're so open about these Q&As. You're so gorgeous and definitely jaw-dropping too. What apps are your go-to or favorite? Can't wait to see your upcoming videos. My go-to apps for music is kind of SoundCloud and when I feel like kind of eh, I go to 7 cups of tea. I love using Visco Cam to edit my pictures and I go to PhotoGrid to combine my pictures and I use InstaShot for my videos. Kaya, which you're Instagram name is Makaya.x. We should talk more at school. It's like so awesome to be in French together. You're very kind. Oh my god! I'm gonna be honest with everyone. In general, I don't really like pay attention because I'm trying to get to my day, especially at school. So please don't feel offended if I don't like notice you at all or anything. It's just because I'm trying to get to my day. It's been a long day. I'm trying to eat when I get home. I'm trying to get to my class. I'm trying to be late. You know, I'm trying to be good. But. Yes, we should talk more, girl. You know, all you gotta do is say hi to me, and I'll say hi to you. Young BBYK is her Instagram name and her username, and she said, why are you so cute? Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys liked how I kind of incorporated you guys into my videos, let me know. I will do this more often because I like connecting you guys to me with my videos and like it's like y'all here but through my phone you know what I mean but yeah if you guys like that just let me know and I will do that more often and I hope you guys enjoyed all my favorites and this mini haul that I did the mini haul is kind of within like the last month or so 
and I will link you guys to any coupon code that I have so that will be down below if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and family and I think that is it for today so I will see you guys next time bye